charmer. I caught her with Ranger, Scarface's son. They were acting very friendly. What? She's in love. Don't you remember how it was, Fox? Well... The farthing Fox reflected on the changing ways of the younger generation. Amongst them, Bold, who, far from the park, was seeking a new life in the town. Had met Whisper. She had taken him back to her earth, but only because she had taken pity on him. I didn't mean to offend you. You really think I'm old? But I'm still just a young buck. Whatever happened to you? remembered his old friend Crow. I tried you before when you were in your den, only you wouldn't come out to play. Why won't you play with me? I get so lonely. <coughs> no, Crow, no. No, Crow. <coughs> Stupid great dog! Look what you've done! Hmm? What do you mean? It's only a bird? Only a bird? He was my friend! Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. You've killed him now. But I can't have done. It was just a little tap. You don't know your own strength. Oh, I am sorry. I don't know. I'm always saying I'm sorry. <laughs> My master's always cross with me. Can't please him either. Oh, dear. Crow's alive. Look. I'm no good at anything. Can't hunt. No good at fetching things. No good as a guard dog either. Fall asleep. Just a great big stupid brute. That's all I am. Oh, dear. Ah. He's breathing life into him. Carry on talking, dog. An Alsatian guards, a spaniel sits on his master's lap, a beagle hunts, but what good's a St. Bernard? He saves lives. Ah! Ah! Oh, are you all right now? <coughs> no, Crow, he's just saved your life. Oh, thank you. 
Thank you very much. First you kill me, then you save my life. Oh, thank you very, very, very much. Ha! See what I mean? Can't please anybody. You know what, Crow? You should be thanking your lucky stars. <laughs> 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 what am I laughing at? Never mind. What's your name, dog? Uh, Rollo. What's yours? I'm bold. And this is Whisper. And this is... Ah! Are you crazy? Being friendly to a dog? I mean well. Prove it. Prove it. How? What can I do for you? I know. Yes. You could remake our hole in the wall so Bolt can get through. Oh, good! Something to do at last! Lead the way! I think the cement's still wet. <laughs> Smells like it. Oh, this is fun! I like helping people! <laughs> is that big enough for you? Not quite. Oh, no! Ah, he's stuck! Don't tell me I've done it again. Try wriggling! I suppose you want to kill him, so you can bring him back to life, too. Ah! Uh, sorry. It's all right. And look, now the hole's big enough, I can get back to the Earth. Time it is. Daytime! Aren't you coming out? Foxes sleep through the day and hunt at night. Oh, silly me. I didn't know that. And I brought my ball, too. Oh, I suppose we could pretend the ball was a stoat or something. <sighs> Wouldn't you rather hunt for real prey? What's the point? I get fresh meat every day. Thank your lucky stars! Lucky stars! You like biscuits? Too hard! Hard! Nearly broke my beak! Sorry. Oh, dear. Rollo's late. I do hope nothing's wrong. Oh, I think I'll fly over to his place. My master's gone away, and someone else comes to feed me now. She tied me up. Poor Rollo. I'm hungry! It's made of leather. We could chew right through it in no time. Oh, could you? I never have thought of doing that. You are clever. Thank your lucky stars. Oh, I do. Where would I be without my new friends? You're free. Now, what shall we do? I'm so hungry. Well, we'd better take him hunting, if we can remember how. Ah, oh, 
aren't you coming in? What's the point? You've frightened all the rats away. Oh no, there I go again. <laughs> oh, Rollo. Whoops! A whole week! I hope I won't have to keep this up for much longer. All right for them in their nice warm earth. Ah, oh, so nice and warm in here. Yes. Bold? Mm-hmm. I've got something to tell you. Mm-hmm. I'm carrying your cubs. Oh, that's wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, Whisper, I'm so happy. I'm glad, because you do realize it means we're going to have to leave here. Why? I want my cubs to be born somewhere safe, where they can be near their own family. What do you mean? I want them to be born in White Deer Park. But I swore never to go back. I know, but you were on your own then. Have you any idea how far it is? All the more reason to start now. Oh, why did you accept me as your mate? Because of your father, of course. My cubs will have his blood. Oh, I do hope they take after him. And I thought... I thought it was because you liked me. Oh, I do, I do. But I have to think of my cubs, you know. They come first. Yes. The cubs come first. I'm glad you agree. We mustn't be selfish, Bold. And if we really do want them born in your park, then we must leave now. Don't take on so, Rollo. But leave now, when I've only just got to know you. It's for the sake of the cubs. Cubs? You're going to have cubs? Yes. So, you see, we have to go. Oh, I could help you look after them. Whisper wants our cubs to be born in White Deer Park. Oh, like me. I see. Is it far? Well, you'll at least have a last meal before you go. Thank you, Rollo. We're going to need it. I wish I could come with you. Only I'm no good at hunting. No good at anything, me. Your master would miss you. No, he wouldn't. He's out all day. Only see him when he brings my food. Oh, it's a dog's life. Thank you, Rollo. We really must go now. Come on. Bold. I'm coming. So after all your brave talk, you're going back. Yes, with my tail between my legs. You failed. Yes, my struggles are over, Crow. <sighs> oh, don't. You'll make me cry again. All my life I've tried to escape from my father's shadow, but it seems I'm fated. She only accepted me as her mate because of my father. I'm no good to her, except as a guide to lead her to his precious nature reserve. Oh. Bold, are you coming? Goodbye, old friend. No, oh, don't say goodbye. I can't bear it. It's been such fun. I've really enjoyed your company. I'll come with you. Take you on your way. Thank you, Crow. Goodbye, Rollo. Hurry, 
if we want to be there before the cubs are born. I must rest. I'm sorry. All right. I'll look for somewhere. Ah, so... You haven't deserted us, old friend. Ah! Brought you some food, didn't I? Oh, thank you, Crow. Part of the oath! The oath! I've found an old earth. It's quite safe. It isn't far. I'm coming. Goodbye, old friend. This is more like it! Adventure at last! Ah! Not a game, Rollo! It's life or death! Oh, really need you! And I'm coming! Oh, dear, dear Bold. 
<laughs> Can you forgive me, Bo? What for? For making you take me back to your birthplace. I knew you didn't want to go. I'm sorry. Without help, I would have died long ago. So perhaps, after all, there is something to be said for the oath. And animals looking after one another. My father was right. Crow's idea! Eat up! Meanwhile, Adder's time of waiting was almost at an end. But the farthing foxes were unaware of Adder's plans for revenge against their old enemy, Scarface. And they still feared attack, so they continued to keep watch. What are you doing on farthing land? What's it to you? Everything. Are you spying on us, or is this to be an attack? Which would you prefer, my dear? Are you threatening me? Me? What are you thinking of? I am no common red fox, used to brawling. I am Lady Blue, mate to Scarface. I know who you are, and your airs and graces don't fool me. Insult me now! How dare you! <laughs> Vixen, what happened? It was Scarface's mate, Lady Blue. She was on the boundary by the pine trees. I challenged her and she... she attacked me. Bold was right. I shouldn't have avoided the fight with Scarface. You did what you thought was best at the time. I was wrong. But Scarface is going to find things are very different from now on. I'm supposed to be a great hero. Well, I think it's time I lived up to the reputation.